In this online pattern cutting tutorial, we'll be looking at the building blocks of draping. We will be using shapes that we can then take and use to create interesting draped silhouettes on the mannequin. Today we'll be looking at circles. So to start we need a square of calico approximately 36 by 36 centimetres wide. Um, and we then want to divide that into four, so fold it into four and the centre of that fold, that's going to be the centre of the circle. So my circle, it's going to be approximately 14 centimetres from the centre of the fold. So um, my ruler has a, has a hole in it, which is really useful, but you can do this without a ruler with a hole, just as long as you have some kind of ruler or tape measure. So you're just moving it an even amount away from the centre of the circle. And marking it with a pen. Again, I'm using a pink pen so you can see it. You can use whatever you want. Um, so there's a circle shape now and I'm just going to join it up so you can see it a little bit better. Once you've got that circle skirt shape you can obviously cut that out. And then when you unfold it, you obviously get the full circle. Okay, so now you know how to make a circle. But on this particular occasion, I'd like to show you also how to make a flounce. So to do that, we have to fold it back into its original position. So we're back on the quarter circle. And we need to make a smaller circle on the inside. So I'm going to make that circle quite small. It's going to be 3 cm's. And that would be the radius obviously, of the circle. So go ahead and cut that out once you've marked it up. So in order to make the flounce work, I actually have to cut along one of those fold lines. You'll understand in a minute whenever I try to put it on the mannequin. So to make the flounce work, what you have to do is you have to sew down the inner edge so you have a lot of volume at the outside edge, but the small edge on the centre is flat to the body. So as you can see, I've pinned it here onto the mannequin. You can pin it any direction you like because it can be sewn into any seam line. The flounce doesn't have to be the so same width the whole way around. So it turns if into I wanted to, I could make the flounce so that it started so small and went big. I can do that on here. So to do that, I'm just going to draw onto my um, calico directly and make a smaller sort of snail-like curve coming from the centre, going to zero, halfway along. And then I'm going to cut it out. You can obviously do this straight on the mannequin if you want, but I find it easier to work on the table. You can see now whenever I straighten it out or in the centre, how it goes from quite um, a big here. at one end to absolutely zero at the other one. And here it is if I was to pin it onto the mannequin. So you can see that you can again have it coming from anywhere and it can be nice that it's not so big around the neck. And here it is pinned onto the other one as well. So you can see you can really have them in any direction you, you please really which is what's so beautiful about flounces. You can also fold flounces so you can get some really, really interesting silhouettes and quite a lot of volume. It's time for you to experiment on the mannequin now, but please remember to take a photograph or at least draw whatever it is you do to keep it for your design work at a later date. 